Hi all, I am Shabham from Informatica GCS team and in this video we will see how we can create an Amazon DynamoDB connection in CDI and how we can utilize it in advanced maps. So this is the agenda. Uh, first we will see a small DynamoDB overview. Then I will uh, walk you through DynamoDB connection properties which are needed to create the DynamoDB P2 connection and a small demo. So, Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed serverless key value NoSQL database which is designed to run high performance applications at any scale. DynamoDB offers built in security, continuous backups, automated multi region replication, in memory caching, and data import and export tools. DynamoDB V2 connector can be used to connect to Amazon DynamoDB from data integration. You can use Amazon DynamoDB V2 connector to read data from and write data to Amazon DynamoDB in advanced mode. Currently, uh, Amazon DynamoDB is supported in advanced ma mapping zone. When you run a mapping in advanced mode or a task based on mapping in advanced mode, data integration analyzes the data logic in mapping to automatically assign data logic to run on advanced cluster. So these are DynamoDB connection properties. So connection name will uh, you can give any name of the connection uh, description, which is optional. Then type type here will be DynamoDB V2 connection. Uh, connection. You need to enable DynamoDB V2 connector in the runtime environments. If you are not having DynamoDB V2 connector enabled, then you need to specify your runtime. Then you need to specify access key, secret key. So access key, secret key are optional to enter when you are uh, using assume roles from IAM role. Uh, this is, you can select the region name, uh, the AWS region where the, uh, the Amazon DynamoDB table is present, which you want to uh, access when you are uh, creating any maps using Amazon D DynamoDB connector. Then you can pass the assume role and assume role ARN details if you are using assume role. So these are the connection properties which are needed for Amazon DynamoDB connector. You can refer this document to read more about DynamoDB V2 connector. Um, now we'll see a quick demo. So once you are having all the details, which I mentioned in my previous slide to create the um, DynamoDB connection, then you can click on administrator and uh, you can create uh, the new connection. So connection name, you can uh, give any connection name here. And the type, so here, we, as I mentioned below, uh, the one of my previous slides, the type you can access DynamoDB in advanced mode only, and in advanced mode, we can use DynamoDB V2 connector. So, we need to select Amazon DynamoDB V2 here, and in the runtime environment, we need to pass the runtime details. So, here I have specified my I'm, I'm using my DynamoDB table is present in US East region only, and so I'm not switching the region. Um, I am using access key and secret key currently. If you are using assume rule, then you can provide those details here. Okay, so um, I have already created one connection. Uh, so this is my DynamoDB V2 um, connection. And once we test this, yes. So this test connection is successful. You can refer this documentation to know more details about the DynamoDB V2 connector. We'd love to hear from you. You can write, send a mail to support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us on https.com. Thank you.